I'm Mike Ray, and you're watching Hornet Tales. I was a lieutenant in the U.S. Navy aboard the USS Hornet flying the Grumman S-2 tracker during the cruise of 1965 and 1967. I was born in Bakersfield in 1940. My dad was a Navy guy. He was a first class radioman. And uh, to be in, on the base with my dad where there was such activity was an exciting and a thrilling start to my life. And that was where I got my first taste of aviation. From that moment on, I wanted to be a Navy pilot. I got my wings in 1963, and I have to tell you, and getting these big wings here, being a real naval aviator, was the culmination of one of the high points of my life. The assignment I had coming out of flight training was going to VS-35, Air Anti-Submarine Warfare Squadron 35, based in San Diego. We were assigned to fly off the carrier CVS-12, which was the USS Hornet. We flew the Grumman S-2 Tracker, which was a twin-engine, piston-powered aircraft carrier base, folding wings and the whole thing, four-man crew airplane. And our sole primary reason for existence was to search and destroy submarines. So the idea of the patch is, as you can see, this is a golf class Russian submarine. This is the VS-35 spear. The fickle finger of fate is stabbing that sub to death. And that's what we did. This is one of my favorite possessions. I bought this camera in 1965. And as soon as I got to uh, the first seaport, which was Yokosuka, Japan, I went to the uh, Naval Exchange. And there I bought its fabulous camera. With this camera, I took over 7,000 pictures while I was on the Hornet. So I made a pretty good record of my experience. Some of these pictures are gonna be included in this presentation so you can enjoy them. Some of my favorite spots on the ship to shoot from was the 07 level of the island. They call this Vulture's Row, because you can see the whole flight deck. So most pictures that you'll see taken by most photographers are from that at aspect as you shoot down onto the deck action because you can see the whole front of the ship all the way to the back, and then you can see the airplanes coming aboard. I remember one time I was giving a brief, and at the end I whipped out my camera, faced all the pilots, and shot a picture of them, and they went crazy. They thought it was funny. Some of the shots out of the cockpit of the airplane approaching the ship, click, 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 I've included in my collection of photographs. Once I left the Navy in 1967, I went directly to United Airlines, I retired in the year 2000. That was a required requirement age, age 60. After that, I became a gamer. I love gaming. I love playing on the flight simulator. I have some all the latest flight simulation. If any of you out there are flying one of these online games where you're in combat, aviation combat, and you're getting your butt kicked, it could just be me doing the kicking. 